Okay, so we're getting ready to go to the two flat to meet our architect and the electrician, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe the electrician, definitely the architect to talk about electrical placements. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous about this one because um, there's still so many unknowns and we're gonna try to figure out like exactly where, where the can lights go mm -hmm. and where the sconces are gonna go and under cabinet yeah. lighting and range Kitchen hoods. sink <laughs> yeah. lighting and so anyway, this one will be, um, this one will sort of make how, how do I say it? It's so, an exercise in visualization for the future. <laughs> and we'll see how good we are at it. Yeah, so let's get this show on the road. I want to make sure that we can keep that string yeah. and that the string continues down and that we can always be able to turn it on with a string. Can we That's do that? That's how it stays. Okay. Alright, next is this living room. Okay, this is where things get real. Yeah. <laughs> Are you staging this? Oh my god. It's yeah. where the magic happens, Arthur. Um, I can't talk. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay. This room has one J-Box only. Oh, that seems like not enough. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree. Because maybe we might want something in here. I think something in there would be freaking adorable, like a too. Little, um, yeah, like one light in here, one light in here. Yeah. Okay, so a J box over there. Yeah, center, centered on on. Got it. Centered okay. between the opening and the window, and then centered that way. Yeah. Okay. And then one dead center yeah, here. One one J box here. Yeah. Yep. Right, so okay, so it's not bad. So okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Um, the oh look, this is here. Look, <gasps> we have the opening for the window, for the transom. Sweet. How come you didn't show us? I don't know. It's a <laughs> we're talking. We're little, like, How uh, exciting! Gnomes walking out here from time to time. Yeah, little <laughs> little framing gnomes just pop in and out yeah, when so they need this, to. This window will be. Um, this will allow light to pass from here into the kitchen and back and forth. And Above walk. the staircase, yeah. which is right there. Cool. Kim and Lucy are hanging out at home, so I am on a special solo mission over to the two flat to take care of some very interesting salvage items that were left behind in the backyard after the demo was complete and the new steel beam was put in. So here goes nothing. This is what the back of the house looks like now. Lots of lumber that will soon be a deck. Rubble pile that's getting picked up this week. But most importantly, the reason that I'm here is because there is some choice goodness inside this rubble pile that looks like this. This is the 130 year old beam that got replaced with steel. There are many, many sections of it. So we are going to salvage this and we have some tricks up our sleeve.
Hi. <laughs> out front. Arthur. Hey, dude. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna turn you around. Yeah, I'm excited. You guys are here kicking butt, and we have a big portion of roof. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Oh my the gosh, big, that's so exciting! Yeah, the big blue tarp is much, it's a much smaller blue tarp now. So what are your thoughts on the gable? It would need to be squished quite a bit because of that window right there. But it, it, the whole plan was for it to match the angle of the roof line of the house up here, which is a 12 inch pitch. Yeah. Like there's no way we'll be able to get that pitch because it would end up like right here and then the gable would also have to cut into that window cut and that would look ridiculous. So if we were going to do it, it would have to be like a really, really mild angle. Oh, like, really, really the good. angle looks really nice. It just all looks really clean and simple. And I think that if we add a cable, I think it's just gonna, like, I think it's just gonna be way too busy. Now that I see how nice and clean it looks, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay, can I see your face? Yes. Okay. Goodbye from the two flat. Nice to see you. <laughs> Bye, guys. What are you looking at? The two flat with. A roof it still has a little bit of a blue tarp but there's also a deck and some stairs and it's really windy it's really cold all right let's show you we have here the roof we couldn't get the gable that we wanted right there because you can see that that second story set of windows they're just too close so it would have like crowded the window but I'm really happy with how we added the um, like window wells or the recessed windows. Yeah. I think it actually looks really cute. Scott, you're walking up our brand new front steps. How does it feel? It feels incredible. We don't remember what the lockbox number is and we have to call our architect. Let's just say it's been a while since we've been able to use the front door and not a drill to get inside. We have all of our boxes, electrical. We have new junction boxes in the ceiling. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That shiny metal is HVAC. Wait, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my gosh, so nice. The inner workings of a wall. While we were adding electrical, we decided to run electrical into the hutch that we love so much. It's not in there yet because we don't know how we're gonna handle it, but we have a, there'll be a switch right here, and then we have just a whip that's gonna run into the back somehow. We gotta figure that out. So we can decide where we wanna put a light, like either like a, a strip of lights or maybe just like one something little underneath here. something underneath. Yeah but I cannot wait to restore this guy. This is the first floor bathroom, the infamous pink tub, and we have plumbing right there for the toilet. We have a sconce on the wall, exhaust. We have recess lighting here, and it looks like, oh, they've sloped up they framed out the slope of that ceiling inside the tub. Okay, downstairs we go. There's a little more light down here now that that tarp is gone. This is the hallway, bedroom one, and then turn around, and that's the door for the second bedroom. So they actually face each other, and then now the light will pass through both bedrooms. Here we are on the second floor now and everything is looking pretty good. There is one thing that I was really worried about and out of everything that they've saved, all this trim, all of the sinks, all of the doors, which is awesome, somewhere in the shuffle, the light in my favorite room seems to have gone missing and the little acorn entryway light seems to have gone missing. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, really sad about that. Um, I tend to grab onto the 
little details and then can't let them go. Right, Scott? You don't say. <laughs> But everything is shaping up beautifully. This is going to be such a cute apartment. Laundry room is looking really cute. And then over here, this is the kitchen. We're adding a window right here. There's gonna be a sconce above it. And here, let me, I'm walking backwards. Whoa, whoa. Here I am in the living room and you get a clear shot into the kitchen. It's shaping up to be super duper cute. Pretty much.